Salesforce is the world's number one customer relationship management platform and is used by many Fortune 500 companies. They help businesses grow by helping them understand their customers' needs better. They have a customer base of over 150,000 companies comprising of large scale, medium scale and small scale enterprises. IDC predicts that from 2019 to 2024, 4.2 million new jobs will be created in the Salesforce ecosystem. This means it is a good time to start a new career in one of the most exciting industries out there. But before we get into any more details about this topic, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. Firstly, we will understand what exactly is Salesforce and who is a Salesforce administrator. Next, we'll take a look at some of the roles and responsibilities of a Salesforce admin and the skills required to become one. Moving on, we'll talk about the average salary of a Salesforce admin and conclude our session by knowing how to become a Salesforce admin. Now moving on to our first topic, what is Salesforce? Salesforce is a cloud-based software company which provides customer relationship management service. Now customer relationship management means a strategy or technique which businesses or organization use to administer their interaction with customers. CRM system allows organization to manage the customer relationship and interaction through a single tool, providing a better customer experience and improving business outcomes. Now, Salesforce services allows businesses to use cloud technology to better connect with customers, partners, and potential customers. Initially, Salesforce started as a software as a service CRM company, and now it provides various software solution and a platform for user and developer to develop and distribute custom softwares. Salesforce also offers a variety of products for companies such as the Salesforce Sales Cloud, Marketing Cloud, Service Cloud, Community Cloud, Analytic Cloud, App Cloud, and a few other. Each of the service has its own functionalities and can be used by different teams in a company. Like the sales team can use the sales cloud, the support team can use the service cloud and so on. Now I guess you have some idea about Salesforce. Let us move on to our next topic and see who is a Salesforce admin. Salesforce administrator works with stakeholders to define requirements and to customize the Salesforce platform. A Salesforce admin best understands how to make the Salesforce platform work for the company's unique needs. They are a vital bridge between business and technologies. A Salesforce admin helps companies in automating complex business processes, creating reports and dashboards, and training users on Salesforce. For their team, they help in staying efficient and on top of the things while keeping an eye on the successes and customer relationships. Just to give you an example of what Salesforce admin does, say you have a sales team who uses Sales Cloud to keep track of opportunities and close deals. Now, a Salesforce admin can help the sales team set up personalized dashboard fields, alerts, and reports to shorten the sales cycle and track every lead in greater detail. This level of organization can lead to greater satisfaction among salespeople and new customers. This was just an example. There are many tasks that a Salesforce admin does on a daily basis. Salesforce admin is a career path for individuals who are passionate about learning and for professionals who enjoy working and using the latest technologies. Now, I think you have some idea about who is a Salesforce admin. Let us move on to our next topic and see the roles and responsibilities of a Salesforce admin. Now, in some companies, administrator roles are combined with other roles. However, depending on the needs, some companies hire them for this role specifically. So one of the responsibility is a Salesforce admin should create new user profiles and monitor access levels, which means they create each user's account and determine the proper level of access to be given based on the employee's role within the company. When an employee is fired or leaves the company, it is the Salesforce administrator who must remove their access credentials as well. Next, they ensure optimal performance of a Salesforce system and product and take care of upgrading and configuring Salesforce system for optimized integration. Next, they import new leads and contacts for the sales team. A Salesforce admin oversees the importation of new leads and contacts on a daily basis. In large corporations, they develop a standard operating procedure for this process that is followed by entry-level market researchers and data analysis. They also help the sales team in creating reports and dashboards. They perform database maintenance tasks, including diagnosis, test, and duplicate entry cleansing, because duplicate data clogs up Salesforce and keeps it from running at full force. Now, a Salesforce admin uses duplication tools like Demand Tools or Ring Deed to scrub duplicate data from the database at least once a week. The next responsibility is installing new Salesforce releases. A good Salesforce administrator installs update as soon as possible. This allows them to test the update in a controlled condition to see how it affects the system configurations. Along with this, they provide training and support to the new employees. Next, the document record and processes. 
The Salesforce admin have to keep records that go back at least 12 months and preferably 18 months. This include documenting all error reports and all the changes to field history tables. They also help in automating complex business processes, manage Salesforce role, profiles, sharing rules, workflows and groups. Next, Salesforce admin also assist in addressing and solving any problem users have while using Salesforce. They also educate the employees on new updates and onboard new hires whose roles involves access to Salesforce. Now, these were some of the roles and responsibilities of a Salesforce admin. Let us move on to the next topic and see the skills required to become a Salesforce admin. First is the Salesforce skill and it would include user and data management, security and actionable reporting. Now, user management is more than just creating user profiles and permission. It's about understanding how the user do their job so you can design an incredible user experience and create an effective strategies for both user training and adoption. Next, data management is all about ensuring data in the Salesforce is managed correctly. Following the best practices to access and improve the quality of your data, which involves putting in place the validation rules, proactively preventing data duplication, and ensuring data is actionable to help users and executives make important business decisions. Next is security. A Salesforce admin should ensure measures are put to place to protect a customer and business data. They should regularly perform a Salesforce health check, which will improve the organization's overall security and is essential to see how safe your security settings are. Next is actionable reporting. The ability to provide reporting on your businesses is super important in helping your users and executive gain insight and make decisions from the Salesforce data. They can do this by creating reports and dashboard that are focused on providing goal-oriented stats. The next skills are business analytics skills. A Salesforce admin should have the ability to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of business operation. A large part of this centers across process analysis and documentation, which will help create transparency into a company's unique and customized business processes. In this process, you will identify the people, information, processes, and documentation involved in business activities, then use this information to build and improve upon solutions to meet business needs. The next skill is leadership skills. Being a Salesforce admin puts you in a really unique position within a company. Having both business and technical skills provide you with the credibility to be an innovation leader at your company. To really excel in this way, you'll want to continuously invest time in developing strong communication skills, both verbal and written. Now, leadership skill is also important for stakeholder engagement as you often need to partner with other teams to deliver a project, including IT, executives, sales, and marketing users. You'll also want to build strong relationship and network with parties external to your companies, including other Salesforce admin and partners in the Salesforce ecosystem. Now, the next skill is technical skills. These skills are important for Salesforce admin as they will help you work more efficiently within your organization especially when you're navigating a complex task or project. As a Salesforce admin, you'll want to develop expertise in areas such as database, management, security, and compliance. You'll also want to have a basic understanding of APIs. By having well-rounded technical knowledge, you'll be able to speak to users and executives more confidently using your specialized expertise. The next skill is project management skills. An effective Salesforce admin will apply the knowledge, skills, tools, and technique to activity aimed to meet business goals and needs. The main skills associated with project management are leadership, task management, scheduling, quality management, planning and execution. The next skill required to become a Salesforce administrator is industry skill. Having a firm understanding of the business and the industry in which your company operates is important for Salesforce administrator. This is because the specific types of activities and business processes that you implement will be influenced by this. These were some of the skills required by Salesforce administrator. Now let us move on to the next topic and see some of the salary and market trend for a Salesforce admin. According to Glassdoor, the average salary for a Salesforce admin in India is 517000 The average salary for a Salesforce admin in the United States is $93,000. According to Glassdoor, there are 816 job openings for Salesforce admin in India, with Bangalore having the highest of 254 job openings. In the US, there are more than 5,000 job openings for a Salesforce admin. Now, this was only according to one website. There can be many more job openings around you. Talking about the market trend, Salesforce forecasts interesting and promising trends such as increased Salesforce adoption by smaller companies, increased emphasizes on field service and the Internet of Things. They are also planning to simplify the app in order to appeal to a wider selection of users. Now, talking about Salesforce, according to the latest financial report, 
The revenue for the year 2020 surpassed $17 billion, reaching the annual sales force growth rate of almost 29%. Earlier this year, the company's executive predicted that the revenue will grow by 23% and reach almost $21.1 billion by the end of 2021. So you see, Salesforce is growing and is not going away anytime soon. So if you're planning to start your career in Salesforce, now would be a good time. Now let us move on to a final topic and see how to become a Salesforce admin. Firstly, for learning purposes, Salesforce offers Trailhead, which is a free platform for courses combining theory and practice of Salesforce development. Trailhead empowers you to learn in-demand skills to skill up for the future and earn resume-worthy credential. With Trailhead, you can learn topics at your own pace and from anywhere across the globe. Trailhead consists of specialized learning trails that explore the features of Salesforce platform. They are comprised of modules that explore key topics within the chosen trail you are completing. In your case, it would be the Salesforce Administrator. Now, these modules are made up of units that introduce specific concepts within the topic of the module. Each unit ends with a hands-on interactive challenge. Next, learn from Salesforce resources. Search for Salesforce Admin Career Development page where you will find admin blogs which will help you find best practices, tips and tricks, insights, and career advice from Salesforce admins. Next, listen to the admin podcast in which guest speakers shares insight on topics ranging from Salesforce setup and customization, career and leadership advice. You can also join the admin events that are happening around you or the virtual events, which will help you gain insights from different Salesforce admins. After this, prepare for the Salesforce admin certification. Invest good amount of time preparing and practicing hands-on for the certification. Start by preparing and taking the Salesforce administrator certification. Next, if you want to learn more and take your Salesforce career to the next level, prepare the Salesforce Advanced Administrator Certification. Now, preparing for the certification will help you improve your Salesforce knowledge and can be very helpful during a job interviews as organization needs certified people. This is because clients generally prefer companies whose employees are certified as it gives them assurance with regard to quality. These were some of the tips that will help you become a Salesforce Administrator. And with this, we have come to the end of our video. I hope it was helpful. Happy learning.